Are you serious? Are you serious? I've got breaking information, unconfirmed, but very interesting. And that is, I want to thank Terry of Georgia for this report. Uh, Terry sends to me and says, I have found out through a friend that so, there was some members of a company that was on this plane that has disappeared from Malaysia to China. The members of the company were members of, an, of an, a company called Freescale. They were on the flight that has crashed or disappeared or wherever it's at. They are responsible. This company called Freescale is responsible for making a small RFID microchip. And uh, so here's the information. I want to uh, Freescale uh, insanely has created a tiny arm chip, it's called. You will, it will put the Internet of Things inside your body. Freescale has created a very small microchip. Uh, they are, Freescale is a chip maker company, uh, semiconductor. They've created the world's smallest arm-powered chip designated to push the world of connected devices into surprising Places they announced today, and they just announced this on February uh, 26, 2013, to just about a year ago. They announced that they have the Kinetics KLO2 measures just 1.9 by 2 millimeters, a dinky little chip. It is a full microcontroller unit, meaning the chip sports a processor. In other words, it's a dinky computer, all right? It has a RAM, it has a ROM clock, it has an I.O. control unit, everything a body needs to be a basic tiny computer. The KLO2 has 32 uh, uh, megabytes of flash memory, it has 4K of ROM, it has 32-bit processor, and uh, several other things that go along with its digital converter and low-powered uh, microchip system. By including these extra parts, the device makers can shrink down their designs, it resulting in tiny boards in tiny devices. How tiny? One application that Freescale says this microchip can be used for is swallowable computers. Yes, that's right, folks. So this is a company that has made the swallowable computers uh, that was created by this company called Freescale. Now, Freescale had several of their employees, this is unconfirmed, but several of their employees was on the missing plane. And they are responsible for making these dinky, tiny computer RFID microchip advanced technology that could be used, could be used for a many different applications. And certainly when you look at all of the things that microchips are being used for, if you can interconnect people without, if you can interconnect people and people can interface with computers, then you do away with many different types of identification devices. And uh, certainly, um, the Mark of the Beast technology in Revelation 13 could certainly be used with this type of advanced technological advancement. So, uh, and there's a lot more. I'll put the link uh, below here in the description. This is fascinating. Again, unconfirmed reports, but Terry of Georgia, who has connections with other folks who, who are telling her they know that there were several members of this company, Freescale, that was on the missing flight, and Freescale is very advanced in the RFID microchip technology systems. You know, my book I wrote, RFID my Mark of the Beast, uh, you know, I, I, every time I think about this, every time I see another advancement, I think about how they're able to create more and more and more smaller advances in the uh, Microchip, microchip technology, which certainly can go right along with the implementation of a computerized system, identification system, 
that the beast, that the one world government could use, is there some type of secret technological information that was being transferred to China? Was there something on this? Uh, who knows? Or were these people on there? I mean, that's another question. But I want to give you this because it's some... Uh, it's very fascinating. We'll continue to watch. We're still trying to find out who all was on the plane. And then, of course, I want to know. I want to see if we can confirm that several people who are employed by free scale, uh, were they on that plane? And, and that's the first reports we're getting. Fascinating. We'll continue to watch it. Pray for all the people that were on the plane. Pray for everybody involved in this, the families. Where is this plane? Where is this plane? Has it been hijacked? Is it in a secret location? Where's the plane? 